It's not my word like as a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. As you listen to God's servant, Itoji Okemute God's time, remain blessed and transformed in Jesus' name. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are this, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, verse 20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sediction, heresy, heavy, murderers, drunkenness, rebellious, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. My brothers and my dear sisters, if this world comes to an end today, where will you be? If this world we are living now comes to an end, where are you going? If the trumpet should sound today as you are going out to your place of work, as you are going out for your business, as you are going out to pursue one thing or the other, if this world comes to an end today, if the trumpet sound, if rapture is to take place today, where are you going? Heaven is real. Hell is real. The heart of God is crying for soul, for soul, for soul every day. God never created a man for him to go to hell. He created a man who is in his own image and likeness. Heaven rejoice when souls are won. As you are stepping out to your place of work, to your place of business, your place of assignment, if rapture or the world comes to an end, where are you going? Where are you going to? It is high time we should know the reality of heaven and hell. No man goes to heaven. No man goes to heaven except he does the will of God. Life is too short to be squandered. Life is too short to be wasted. Life is too short to be wasted, suffocated with alcohol. Life is too short to be wasted. And life is too short to be wasted in prostitution quarters. I don't know what you think about God. I don't know what you think about hell. I don't know what you think about heaven. But all I know is hell is real. Heaven is real. And it's only those that do the will of God we read the kingdom of God. Are you a Christian yet you find yourself fornicating? Are you a Christian yet you find yourself cheating? You find yourself with the sin of unforgiveness, malice, envy. You say you walk in the house of God, the church of God, yet your character cannot display or exemplify the character of Jesus Christ. The church where we belong as ambassadors, we are expected to display the character of Jesus, that is Christocentric. We pursue things of the world as if the world will not come to end. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God remains the same. Why have you decided to focus 100% of your attention on the things of the flesh and you abandon your spirit? Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the Lord. And the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, And God formed the man from the dust of the ground, and he breathed upon him the bread of life. He breathed upon his nose the bread of life. Our spirit man, most of us, we don't even care about it. We call ourselves Christian, yet our spirit, our soul is empty. We give our life to Christ, yet we don't know how to seek God. God is calling you now. He's giving you another chance. He's giving you a second chance. There is a second chance. Because as you are going out now, if the world comes to an end, 
you are going somewhere you are going to somewhere because the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 it is appointed unto a man to die just once and after that is judgment how will God judge you? will God judge you as workers of iniquity get beside me? will God judge you by saying welcome my dear son are you so desperate and passionate to walk on the street that is tied with gold? Are you so desperate and passionate to see your maker? The God no matter I've seen, if this is your wish, I hate you now. I hate you now. Make a U-turn, the direction you are going is the direction of destruction. And serve God with the whole of your heart. And serve God with the whole of your heart. And serve God with the whole of your heart. God is calling you. Samuel said in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 3. And Samuel spake all to all the house of Israel saying. If ye do return unto the Lord with all your heart. Then put away the strange gods and ashtadons from among you. And prepare your heart unto the Lord. And serve him holy, and he shall deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. God has the capacity, He has the power to deliver us from every situation we find ourselves. But the question is Is our way pleasing God? The Bible says, If the will of a man please God, He makes His enemy to be at peace with Him. Is your way pleasing God? Is your way pleasing God? I beg you. And I ask. If the world is coming to an end today. Where have you prepared that you are going? Depart from iniquity. If the world comes to an end today. Where are you preparing that you are going to? Two things are evil. And that you go to heaven. Or you go to heaven. And you that is hearing the sound of my voice. And you are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Raise up your right hand and say this prayer before me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I have come before the throne of your mercy. Say, have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins. Cancel my name from the book of death. And write my name in the book of life. Henceforth, I will serve you forever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. If you say this prayer with me, you can look for any Bible-believing church and attend. God will touch your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This message is brought to you by Pastor Itoje Okemote God's time. For follow-up prayer and counseling, call 706 456 8635. God bless you.